here we have a compound interest problem. We have 5,000 invested, invested for two years in an investment scheme. The investment earns compound interest at 8% per annum. And so they want to find the Lano's investment at the end of two, end of a two year period. So the investment is going to be, um, going to include the 5,000, right? Because 5,000 is an investment and it gains interest. So it should be more than 5,000. So these are off. They're not asking for the interest. So what we're going to do, we're going to find 8% of the 5,000 that was invested. 8 per 100, that's 8%. We're going to cancel out the zeros, right? Easy way, divide by 100, in fact. 8 times 5 is 40, so that's 8 times 50 would be 400. So multiply 8 by the 5, will give us the 40, and add back the 0 to the end here. So that's 400. So the new amount going in the second year will include the investment original amount, 5,000, and the interest it gained from the first year, 400. So the new amount going into the second year is 5,400. Now, um, with compound interest, the interest charged on the is charged on the um, the new amount, right? So the new amount is five thousand four hundred dollars, all right? I'm not charge in this case, but added on because this guy is actually saving money. So the bank is basically paying him eight percent um, on his new amount, eight percent on fifty four hundred. That is. So we're going to divide by 100, and it's going to be 8 times 54. Let's calculate that. So 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 8, 5 is 40 plus 3, 43. So that's 432. So we're going to add this 432 to the amount that went in the second year. So that's going to be 5,400 plus the 432. And we can see this answer is out. So it has to be this. All right. So that's three, eight, five.